Hey everybody, welcome back to Renderbots. My name is James and today we're going to be looking at Dynamics in Cinema 4D. Um, so Dynamics is something you see quite a lot of when it comes to Cinema 4D. You've only got to go on YouTube and um, type in Dynamics and you'll see balls falling from the skies and normally they're spheres and they're uh, chrome and they bounce off each other. Um, so I thought I'd do something different when it comes to Dynamics. And what I mean is, is this. Renderbots bowling. There you go. So as you can see, we've got a bowling ball that comes in, comes crashing through our little pins here, and then disappears to the left-hand part of the screen. Got a nice little Renderbots bowling logo in there as well. So let's have a quick look again. Here we go. Slides through. Beautiful. Okay, so we look at building all of that. Um, I'm pretty sure we can do this in one tutorial. We may have to break it up into two sections. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. So what we can do is we can look at actually creating the bowling ball, the actual uh, bowling ball. Yeah, of course, with the three little holes inside of that. Also, we'll be creating uh, this sort of pin. Here we go. So we'll be finding out how to draw around that and make that sort of that object. We'll also you'd be using some textures. Um, here's a few pictures of some textures here. We've got the floor there and maybe the wall as well to kind of finish it off. Um, so let's crack on and see how we're gonna do this. Okay, we're inside of Cinema 4D. So the first thing we need to do is bring in our photograph of that bowling pin. Now to do that, we're gonna be looking at going to another view. So I'm gonna click on this little icon here it brings up our view. Then what we want is the front view. See, it says the word front here. Okay, and we're going to click on this little icon here like that. And as you can see, it brings up just the front view. And we're going to bring in a photograph of that bowling ball. Now, to do this, we're going to go into Options, slide all the way down to Configure. And in Configure, we're going to move over to our display here. We've got the word Back. Click on the word Back, and it's got the word Image here. We follow it all the way across to this icon here. Give that a click. Straight away, we got to my 10-pin um, bowling pin head here. Press open. Now, obviously, go online and find a picture of a bowling pin like this. Okay. Now, I want to kind of get this. See this green line here? I want to kind of move this along so it's kind of in line with that. And the way I'm going to do that is see the offset here. Can move it left and right, and this is just roughly there. You go, that's cool, something like that. Okay, now we're gonna what we do is we actually draw around this shape from here, around here, like this, go inside here, and meet at the very top. So, we're only actually going to draw half of it, and then we're going to use something called the lay tool for it to actually spin around it. But don't worry about that, we'll get to that. So, what next? Well, what we do is go to here. Give it a click and hold down, and we're going to choose the word B spline. Okay, this is the one we want. We're going to give it a click. Straight away, you can see I've got the tool B spline. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these keys to move in and out as we go through this. So, we're going to move it in, hold on this position tool, come down, go really close there, and start off down here. So, I'm going to give it one click here. Boom, there you go. I'm going to give it another one here. Boom. Now the reason why I want to do that one click to this click is because I need the base to be nice and flat. So when this is standing up, it's going to stand up correctly. Next up, I'm going to do one uh, maybe just around here, maybe there. Okay, give it a click uh, there. Cool. So I've got the straight thing there. And as you can see, I'll, I'll come back to this. It's fine. Uh, let's go up here. Give it a click. Uh, let's go to here. Get here and you see it's actually going nicely inside of this. There we go. Click there, give a click there, up into there. That's got a nice neck inside of there. There we go. Click there too. Another one there. Can we bring that out a little bit? There we go. Cool. One there, and maybe the last one there. And you see that I'm able to basically click on the move tool here, give it a click, and just bring this up. Okay, so we clicked over here, got the little points, and once I click on a point, we can move these in and out by using these. So we can really shape this exactly what I want. So we've got that shape, I think, pretty good actually. Let's have a little look. 
Um, okay, that's good there. Again, it's only rough. We don't want to be too, uh, too accurate on here. This is only our first solid go. Now, as I said, I kind of need this to be really flat here. This is going to be kind of uber flat, right? So it's going to be on the floor. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and I'm going to press the command key and just give it one click there. And that enables me to do a little sort of very cool flat edge. See that? Let's zoom in and have a look at that. Okay, you see that? It's going to give us a nice flat body there. So that, that means our pin will stand up. Okay. So you drop it down. We're going to make that little guy to help us there. Boosh. There we go. So there's my flat bit. That's really important as we build this uh, skittle. Okay. There you go. So there's our first outline. Now, it will take you some time to do that. Don't worry if you get it wrong. It's, it's going to take some time. I've done this a few times. You can see I still messed up. <laughs> but as you see, hopefully you're going to get that there. Now, what's really cool is what I'm going to do is go back to my normal view. Okay, which is over this here. It's called perspective view. Give that a click on there. All right. So what does that look like? Well, here it is. Here's our little pin head there. Okay. So how do we make this a shape? This is so cool. What we do is we click on this icon here and we use the word lathe. Okay. Click on the lathe tool. Over here, the lathe appears, and we're going to grab a spine and just drop the spline inside of there. Oh, instant pin. Take a look at that. And that's our little pin. It really was as simple as that. So um, that is the lathe tool. Now, uh, what I need to do is build the base to our um, to the bowling alley, right? So we're going to get this base in here. So to do that, let's scroll out from here. We're going to grab a cube, okay, and let's see, we can do this lots of different ways, but I guess if we just get a plane, yeah, let's get a plane. And that's going to put a plane right in the center, and we're going to bring that down, so it's kind of touching the floor as it were there, the bottom of there. Now we can see how that's going to work, okay, and the way we can do that is, click on here, we're going to go to, yeah, there you go, the right view there, look at that, give that a click. And again, we can use this to zoom in, have a little look. And this way, we just put this up and line this beautifully just on there. There we go. Pretty much there, ready to go. OK, click back on there. Go back to a perspective view, click on there. And there we go. As you see, it's, uh, it's ready to go. All right. So let's click on our display tab here. Let's go to uh, this uh, icon here. You see all the little lines inside here. Now, let's zoom in a little bit. So remember, this is the basis to our floor, our alley. And we can grab hold of this little orange blip there. And as you see, as I click, drag, it'll stretch that out for me. So let's stretch this out quite a lot. Let's zoom out. Stretch it out there. Let's grab that one and push that out like so. So as you see, a bit of manipulation inside of there to get that, get that where we want it to be. Yeah, looking pretty good, right? Okay, good. Now, um, that's roughly our, our bowling alley size. It's not going to be too big. So what we need to do now is bring in our bowling ball. So just so we don't get confused with all this, let's go to our um, lathe icon and give that a click. Let's give that a click there. And as you can see, it gets rid of those objects for us there. So we haven't got to worry about that for now. So put two clicks in so we get rid of that. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go and grab hold of our sphere, like so. There's our sphere. We're going to resize that by clicking on kind of, well, we're already on the right tool there. So we can grab hold the red area, make it big, make it big. In fact, we need to see what the skittle looks like, right? So it's in proportion. So let's turn the skittle back on. Press this icon, let's move the skittle down. Yeah, let's move that there. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Looks like it's going to be able to push over a few things maybe, make the ball maybe a little bit bigger, click on the sphere, click on the button there, give it a click, yeah that looks about right, it's going to come hurtling down there and hitting that, yeah looks pretty good to me. Okay so let's turn off the lathe again, that's that off. So what we need to do is put a few more uh, polygons into our ball here, so we're going to sphere, and we've got inside here the word segments and there's 24, let's give this a, a few more and round this off. Make this look pretty good. Um, that should be fine, about 33. There you go. So as you see, it gives the, the ball a few more polygons for us to uh, play with. 
Now what we need to do is is cut out those little holes, right? So inside of the bowling ball, there's three little um, sort of uh, thumb and finger holes for us to throw the ball. Um, and the reason why I want to show you this part is because there's another tool inside of cinema that we've not seen before, and it's called the ball tool. And the ball tool is uh, it's in here. Doo -doo -doo -doo, there it is. It's there. Okay. So what we're going to do is before we click on that, we need to create a few more um, balls, right? And what they're going to do is they're going to intersect um, with this bowling ball and kind of scoop out those little holes. So let's go ahead and create that. Okay, so we have our sphere here, and we're going to basically, as I said, scoop out that thing. So we're going to go to the word sphere again. And this gives us another little sphere. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this sphere to here. Let's go up a little bit and hit the resize tool. So when we click, and again, we're looking to get something to scoop out the thumbs. Okay, so let's give it another click again. Yeah, looks about right. So we see they've got the word sphere one up there. Let's rename this bowling ball. Okay, so double click that. Bowling ball. There we go. This is going to be our first uh, thumb. There we go. Now, as we see, it's just a ball, right? It's sitting proud of the bowling, the original bowling ball. So we need to kind of, first of all, move this into position where we want to scoop the out. So let's move it about there. Okay, let's push it so it intersects a little bit with that. Okay, so you see I'm just moving around to try and see what it looks like. So let's go and grab hold of this uh, ball tool. Okay, click on the ball, grab our thumb, drop the thumb onto there, then the bowling ball onto there. Okay, and want the bowling ball to go into there like that. There we go. See that? And what it's done is it's kind of scooped that out. So we've got the ball, the, the ball with a bowling ball on it there, and the thumb goes inside of there. And that gives me that nice little scoop option. Can you see that? It's kind of scooped that out there. Okay, so what next? We'll grab the thumb, Command C, Command V, or copy and paste, and drag this in. And as you see what's going to happen, it's going to give me another one of these. Okay. So let's drug that under there and drop it in. So all did pick up that up, drop that under the thumb like so, and there is our next ball, just like that, okay? Um, and finally, we need this again. So um, Command C, copy, Command V, paste. Drag that one from there. And again, we're just looking to get this somewhere near. There we go. And, and finally, just grab this thumb and drop that underneath there. Boom, look at that. So a hierarchy is ball, a uh, bowling ball, and then the thumb, thumb, thumb inside of there. Look at that. Um, I guess we should be calling those fingers, but that's fine. As you can see, I can still move this around by clicking all those buttons there. There we go. Hit the render button. But There you go. There's a render button. Okay, so we get pretty good. And that's called the ball tool. It's cool, right? So there is our bowling ball. Now let's click on our bowling ball here. We clip this little minus and it gets rid of all of these and stores them inside the ball tool. So we're going to double click on that, call that bowling ball. And there you go, there's our bowling ball. So next up, what we want to do is we're going to uh, push our bowling ball away from where we need it. Okay, so let's, um, we got a bowling ball highlighted here. Click on the red arrow and just put it all the way there. Okay, I'm going to pull it out of the way. There we go. Something like that. Just pull it out of the way. We don't need that right now. What we're going to concentrate on now is, um, well, let's arrange our pins, right? So let's click our pins back on. Click on that. Click on there. There's my pin. Now, as you can see, if I move this around, that's just going to become supercharging down here. So what I need to do is start to arrange my bowling balls, uh, my bowling, my, oh, my skittles, right? Let's just call them skittles. That's what they are. Click on that. Uh, command C, Command V. So copy paste. Click and just drag that one over there like that. There we go. Yeah, looks pretty good. So there's that one. Uh, command C, Command V. Drag it across. Command C, Command V. Drag it across again. Yeah, looking pretty good. Command C, Command V. Click and drag. Okay. Command C, Command V. 
Okay, just arranging them roughly on my board there. Command C, Command V, there's my next one there. Fantastic, Command C, Command V. Just drop that to there. Okay, looks pretty good. So, didn't take too long to get to uh, that position. So let's go ahead and let's go file and just quickly save that. Uh, bowling demo 1.1. I like to call it that. Okay, so there we go. We've got the saving and we see from our bowling ball, we've got everything we want where we want it. 